Hello everyone, welcome back to WS Cube. So, I hope the last session was clear to you. In the previous sessions, we learned how to install PyCharm. Also, if you want to become a successful data analyst and you want to learn from our industrial experts, then you may call on the number given below or you can also click on the link given in our description. Not just that, with our every batch, you will be getting two demo classes for free. So, let's get started guys. Now, today onwards, we will be learning how to write our first program in Python. I hope you all are as excited as I am. So, let's get started. So, print statement. Print statement would be our first program in Python. What is print statement? Let's understand that first. Print statement uh, allows us to write any message that we want to display on our output screen. So, how to write this print statement? Let's have a look on that. Okay. So in the last session, we learned how to create a file. Um, I have already created a file called as demo.py. I'll be using the same file. Now how to write a print statement? I will just write print. If you even write print, the PyCharm gives you the suggestions that what are all the possible keywords that could come with p. I'll be writing print. Open parentheses. Parentheses are the curved brackets. Then open double quotations. You can use single or double quotations according to your choice. There is a drawback of using single quotations um, that we will be discussing later. For now, uh, let's understand uh, with the double quotations. I'll be writing my message inside it. Let's say I'm writing hello world. And uh, for the run button, you can, um, you can right click and uh, it gives you the option to run the code. Or on the right hand side on the top, we have the run button as well. It's a green color button with the arrow and if you click on this, it runs the code and as you can see, the hello world is printed over here. Similarly, if you want to write anything else, let's say instead of hello world, I will be writing, um, I love Python and I hope that after this course, even you guys will fall in love with Python. And if I run it, it prints I love Python for us. Right. So this is our first program. I would like you guys to try this and quickly open your PyCharm and give it a try. Write print, give a space. Space is anyways not required, but it look, it makes our uh, code look neat and clean. So that's why I prefer using space, but totally up to you. They can use a print statement, give it a space, open parentheses. I'll repeat parentheses are nothing but the curved brackets. And uh, then we will be using double quotations and inside it you can write any message that you want to write and the Python will print it for you. It will give it to you in your output screen. Now let's say I want to write multiple lines. I will say print, uh, this is my first Python program. Okay. Again, if I want to write print, I hope you all like it. So, if I run the code, okay, you can see um, it gives me three lines of I love Python. This is my first pro Python program and I hope you all like it. But what if I don't want to use this um, print statement again and again? So, to avoid using print statement again and again, we have a method where we can write multiple lines at one time. Let's see how it is done. So to use a print statement to write multiple lines in one single uh, print statement, there are two methods. Let's, we will see both of them one by one. First method is to write it inside the triple quotations, triple double quotations or triple single quotations. And the another method is backslash n that whenever you want to go to the next line, you use a backslash. I'll repeat not slash, but the backslash backslash and n it is used to insert something in the next line let's see how it is done okay so let's have a look on how it is done so i'll just remove all this and probably start with parentheses triple double quotations it automatically gives me the n triple double quotations and inside it i can write i love python it allows me to go to the next line while if you will use a single quotation it won't allow you to go to the next line it will throw an error for you but double quotations is allowing me to go to the next line. So I love Python. This is my first program. And lastly, hope you all like it. So 
once I click on run, you can see it's again printing the similar three lines, but this time we are using only one print statement. So this is one method. The another method would be backslash and n. So let's say I'm using single print statement with only single quotations. What I can do whenever I want to go to the next line, I'll use a backspace over here, a backslash and n. And whatever I want the next line will be followed inside it. And again, a backslash and n and whatever needs to be written in the next line will be followed by it. So let's see how it works. So once I click on the run button, it again gives me the same output. So here we can see two different methods of writing multiple lines in single one print statement. So you can use it with the triple quotations or you can use it with a double quotations as well. Okay, as I was saying that there is a drawback of using single quotation uh, in print statement that would come when you are writing something in apostrophe. So let's say I'm writing, um, it's going to rain today. I'm making a prediction here that it's going to rain today and using with a quotation. And if I run it, it will throw me an error. Why this error is coming? Because the Python is, yes, Python is smart, but not that smart to understand that where we are using an apostrophe or where we are closing the single quotations. So that's why I would recommend you to use double quotations, but still if someone is very stubborn to use uh, single quotations, they can use a backslash in front of uh, apostrophe. So now if I use a backslash and apostrophe and click on run button, it will work. It will write, it's going to rain today. So yes, there is a drawback, but there is a solution for this drawback as well. That is backslash and apostrophe. Okay. So I hope everything that I taught in this session is clear to you how to write a print statement, how to display a message in output, how to display a, a multi-line message in output using a single print statement. We learned two methods and uh, one method is to use triple quotation, another method is to use backslash and n. So I hope everything is clear to you all and in our next session we will be learning how to create variables. So stay connected and see you in the next session.